many many years ago long ago during the golden days of the internet you know there was once an innocent child who liked to you know surf the internet explore he was adventurous he was um <laughs> i like to surf around forums you know as a kid you know read what other people talk about in these forums there there are you know other users that have like thumbnails with their persona you know as an innocent child venturing the internet uh you have to give up your innocence at one point you know <laughs> uh i was i was curious you know so i looked up furries and um bondage and shit and many other exciting things <laughs> along with it but it wasn't long before i found out that the internet hated furries with such great passion i wasn't able to explore deeper i thought these haters knew more than i do so i jumped on the hate wagon <laughs> from then on i was a furry phobic or you know just a kink shamer in general i hated something that i didn't understand you know i noticed this uh parallel thing that i dealt with homosexuality you know so i decided you know i wanted to explore things that i didn't understand and i decided that i wanted to make a fall leather pop hood puppy hood uh because like you know i have way too much time and i realized i still have way too much fall leather materials left in my in there Basta. I ordered that uh, months ago for my other leather project that I never made a video about. It's just, it's been a while since I've done a crafting project, you know? I wanted to do something creative. And, you know, I wanted to, I just wanted to be productive. So, Ayan, let's just jump into the video. So, this is, this is your nose. This is your eye hole. And this is where your ears start, like your human ears. So we're gonna make the the dog ears up here right so if we're gonna reference the pattern that i already made it's gonna look like this it's like a bat i'm a sexual person i've expressed my interest in leather and bondage you know to my friends it's something that i've never done myself personally you know it's still in my bucket list i'm still kind of um uncomfortable talking about this on camera um this just shows that i still have a long way to go you know exploring this um side of myself you also want to measure from your nose bridge to your forehead then you're gonna draw that that flap there and then make that swoosh the middle here yung gitna nyan, this is where your ear your dog ears will start So you, you want something like that and if you cut it, it's gonna look like this, if you open it up, it's gonna look like that. So so the reason why this is shaped like that, because we're gonna fold this in this uh, flap here and then it's gonna look like a dog ear. This is getting somewhere. Okay, and I also made like the other parts here, so this is like the first part of the snout my first awakening with furries was i think this is just last year last year was my first awakening with furries because i decided to order like a full-on furry mascot of elmo and i wanted to wear this during my live performance set for fete de la musique bedroom beat stage it was fun it was iconic not gonna lie so this is the nose part. So if you fold it like this and then tuck tuck this here, fold it like that. It comes in nose. Oh shit. Oh dang. So I was trying out the costume and um I I noticed something that I was not expecting. I was inside this Elmo costume. I became more loose. How do I explain this? Um it's like my identity my ego started to dissolve my inhibitions also started dissolving and i was able to become more uh, carefree 
outgoing, more outspoken, I was able to transform into a something in someone entirely different, which is so weird and I I actually really liked it. Actually, that was not the first time that I experienced that. Well, the the actual first time was when I tried drag for the first time. And that was also for <laughs> Fet the Music. I dressed up as a girl, an e-girl, cute anime, school girl, you know, with a full full face. And I went on stage and I was rapping about, you know, food and suicidal tendencies. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I have weird ideas. I have weird concepts. Sometimes I don't know how I come up with this shit. <laughs> I was on drag and I, and I realized I acted different. I thought I would be uncomfortable because, you know, I'm dressed up as a girl. I thought I was gonna feel vulnerable, but actually I. F- but it was definitely I definitely felt different, and my friends also noticed that I was acting different. You know, it was like I was I was a different person. You know, and as soon as they took it off, everything off, I was back to normal. You know, and same with the Elmo costume. And I guess it kind of makes sense because you know. It's like I'm hiding behind a costume, you know, because I have personal issues with myself. You no, know, I have body image issues. You know, I'm not comfortable with how I look because I have these insecurities. You know, I don't get to express myself fully. You know, I'm inhibited. It's sad, honestly. <laughs> oh, this is kind of satisfying. You know what? Yeah. We're gonna lay the pattern that we made here. We're gonna trace it. As soon as I put on a costume, or even even clothes actually, kite ano, basa you put it on, it really affects your demeanor, your aura, your vibe. You know how you express yourself, how you deliver, how you present yourself. Even even with clothes, you know. I think I'm gonna make another video about that. You know my my relationship with fashion. You know how when and why i decided to pursue fashion because i wasn't always you know like a stylish person Blech. that's gonna be for another video this reminds me of that movie uh he was in a band he has this huge mask on all the time frank frank i thought it was quite interesting when i first saw that film i i definitely saw myself doing something like that you know like i was what if i had a mask you know would, would I be able to express myself better if I'm hiding my face behind a mask, you know? And um, <laughs> I didn't really explore that back then because I was worried that I'd be way too dependent on it, you know? Just like in the actual movie. It's like getting addicted. It's like getting dependent to alcohol. Because, you know, when people drink alcoholic beverage, it's it's for them to lubricate their brain their mind you know like it's easier for them to express you know uh they get to shed their inhibitions when they're intoxicated i was comparing the the mass situation with alcohol so ito na siya. No. it's cut it's pull it, it's got holes now and i've inserted all the studs here so what we're gonna do now is um, assemble this thing so this this stud goes into this hole like so I just wanted to find out if I'd get the same effect with the fall leather pop hood and it's an interesting blend between two worlds that I'm trying to explore lately leather bondage and furries it's the love child of two worlds human pups I wanted to exhibit dog traits, you know. I like dogs. I guess saying that in this context is kind of weird. I don't li- I don't like dogs actually. No, just making that clear. But I like dogs for what they are. You know, they have this wholesome, fun, loving energy. You know, they're very playful. They're very loving, unconditional loving. You know, they just have this vibrant, pure energy around them that's the kind of vibe that i want to express so i thought maybe doing this human pop play role play kind of thing will teach myself how to be more 
dog-like. I don't know. And also, like, bring that in a sexual context. Because, you know, it's the it's the leather part of the the two worlds. Because, you, you know, leathers are undeniably sexy. <laughs> Furries are not always sexual. Being a furry can be, you know wholesome sometimes you know and I, and I get it because like when I when I was wearing the Elmo costume I I felt things but I never felt anything sexual maybe maybe with leather it, it's gonna feel different you know maybe it's the material that adds to the vibe I don't know what I'm saying this is what it looks like <gasps> oh my god oh my god that that's a snout yo Oh my god, this looks so good. I'm not sure if it looks like a dog though. But on the side. You know what, I think I'm gonna go out and do groceries with this mask on. I tried wearing this mask around the house. You know, I don't think I can wear this outside the house yet. Um, I'm not ready for that yet. I haven't been able to, you know, act like a puppy with, with the mask on. I'm, I don't live alone in this house. You know, I have housemates here. And, you know, I, I know I've done weird shit in this house. But I don't think they're ready for this kind of weird. And I don't even think I'm ready for that either. Okay, so uh, right now, uh, this is what it looks like together. Temporary strap here. So it holds up on my face. And then uh, I added this key ring here. Just to give it a little bit of detail, like some nose ring type of shit. I also wanted to add like straps here, so I've added these key rings here. Also, if, if you want to get all these things, I got I got all the materials from uh, Shopee. I think I'm gonna try to link all the items so you can get it yourself. But, uh, yeah, I think I think I'll add another key ring up here, straps up there to to hold it in place. So it doesn't slide down because that's annoying this is how it looks as a whole as one whole thing like i i tied it up oh my god you know what i'm actually really into this oh my god is this is this me now is this my new life now actually you know what i'm gonna tell you as soon as i tightened up this whole thing man I was not expecting I I started feeling things like I started I felt things that are very real and the, holy shit I, I'm, I'm I think I'm actually I think this is my life now <laughs> we need a name for this uh, oh my god this is not supposed to, this is not supposed to happen maybe it's just the camera on the mirror, it looks like a dog, but I don't know if it's translating well with this camera, but sometimes it doesn't look like a dog. <laughs> ah. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done. Um, I am very proud of what I made, considering it's my first time making a pop hood. Actually, it's my second time making a leather project, but you know, this is the first time I've made something like this, you know, and for what it is. I think I did a pretty great job. Congrats, congratulations, you did a great job. <laughs> so I've been wearing this around the house, not entirely immersing in the puppy lifestyle, but you know, just, just doing mundane things, like chores, you know, while wearing the mask. It just made mundane things a little bit more interesting, you know? I actually enjoyed that <laughs> a lot. Hopefully one day I get to meet like a community Maybe here in the Philippines, uh, who will uh, introduce me to the whole human pup, leather pup culture. Maybe I'll be able to explore with other human pups, experience what it's like to have a handler, or maybe even as a handler. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do next. You know what? I think I'm gonna make a highlight segment for this video. Like, like you know, like the reveal, the final reveal, the whole makeover. Let's do that. Yeah, that would be fun.
yeah, I think this has been a very interesting experiment, you know, exploration. I am gonna go deeper with this in my own private time. Maybe I'll make an update video, who knows? The lesson here is, you know, if you're uncomfortable with a certain concept, you know, or with a culture, you know, maybe you just don't understand them fully. Because that's what happened to me with the furries and homosexuality. Who knows, maybe if you explored a little bit deeper, maybe you're actually part of that community. You know, maybe you do identify with these people expressing yourself in the most authentic way is like super healthy for you you know it's it's good for you doing these kind of things you know helps me get to know myself a bit better a bit deeper exploring different worlds different perspectives widening my horizons expanding the possibilities getting out of my comfort zone you know that's my thing i had a lot of fun making this project hopefully this inspires you to make your own maybe that's really up to you so i hope you really enjoyed this video if you want to see more you know check out my channel chillman c like and subscribe see you in the next video